Yo guys, Dudley here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, so literally I'm filming this the same day that I filmed the last video. Let's get into this. I mentioned how Logic was going to be a separate video on itself. And no, I didn't write a speech for this one. I didn't write a speech for this one. This one is going to be off the dome, okay? Logic. <laughs> I love the 1-800 song, but, but, that song, I don't even know how to say it. That song created a gateway for people to exploit suicide, depression, and other mental illnesses. Not saying that was Logic's intention, but he cracked it open. He marketed off of it, literally at award shows. He, oh, I want to make a shout out to this, this, and this. This is the Suicide Prevention Highlight Center. Like, you did all of that on media. Like, okay. Honestly, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with what he did, but then it's people. There are people who went out there after hearing that song wanting to, like, feel suicidal, who wanted to kill themselves. I can literally find a clip of an old Snapchat from me from years ago, fake crying. I'm a... I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it. I promise you, I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna wait 10 seconds. Yo, I am screaming right now. <laughs> so, as I'm editing this video, I look back on the clip, right? Because I knew I was gonna be able to find it. But <laughs> I was trying to figure out what I was mouthing out in the song. Around this time, um, I think 13 Reasons Why had just came out. So, what I was mouthing was Hannah Baker. <laughs> it's sad, but, you know, we can just get back into the video. I'm pretty sure I had nothing to be sad about in that moment. But it's the song, you know. It was lit. It was trendy. It was a bop. Khaled, Alicia Cara, Logic, you know. It was, it was a bop, okay? And... Listening to that song, I'm pretty sure I had nothing to be sad about. But I'm over here crying for views. Literally, I remember people inboxing me once I posted that to my Snapchat. Oh, you okay? Uh, uh, like, what? And I'm pretty sure if I did it, someone else did it too. Like, that, that is a definite fact. Because nobody was sitting here happy when they was sad when they could have been happy. Like, oh my god. Honestly, it wasn't Logic's intention. But it's... It's something he allowed. Like, he started. He started a trend for depression. He started a trend for people wanting to be sad. When you listen to a sad song, it's supposed to help you reflect over something, not want to be sad. You know what I mean? We have people out here every day on social media who are literally doing things for clout. Now that we got into Logic actually being the contributing factor to why we see a rise in depression trends and music we need to look at other songs juice world okay lucid dreams <laughs> lucid dreams was my cousin's favorite song for a while one of my one of my cousins right i still see the shadows in my room can't take back the love that i gave you <laughs> i cannot make this stuff up i can't make this stuff up Y'all know y'all not sad. Y'all know y'all got over that bum bitch you was with five months ago, but the song just came out and now you're sad again? No way. No way. No way. People were literally getting relationships just to be sad to a song that's coming out. Or a song that came out a week ago. <laughs> Honestly, I cannot do it no more because we literally let social media poison our minds. We let it poison our minds. XXX Tentacion. R.I.P. But, bro, bro, what song was it? What song was it? Okay. <laughs> I found both of them. His top five songs are Sad, Moonlight, Jocelyn Flores, Changes, and Fuck Love, featuring Trippy Red. The song that I'm referring to today is Sad and Changes, right? Sad. We're going to get into... Actually, no. Let's do Changes first, okay? Sad is another song in itself, right? Changes. It's a beat that's just like, damn. It's like See You Again. Like, I know Charlie Puth was upset. Not really upset, but he was channeling energy from his friend passing in the same way Paul Walker did, like, through a, like, car accident. Uh, accident. 
It's based off of experience. So Charlie Puth channeled that energy. I really want to know what what motivated Ten XXX Tentacion to write the song changes or who co-wrote it with him, what inspired them to write this song. Because it's just like a beat, you know. See you again is just like I can play that on the piano right now. It's like the first beats, like the first couple notes in that song is just like damn. It like it hooks you in. Whoa. What song is that? Changes. It's it's hard to explain. Like I wanna play it but I don't wanna get demonetized, even though we're not there yet. You know, I'm just trying to set a precedent now. Um you're you can be in the best mood ever and when the song comes on, I guarantee you you're gonna be sad. Like, try it. Try it. Le leave a like. Subscribe to the channel, actually, if you play Changes by XXX Tentacion and that song. And that song doesn't have you in tears. Honestly. Um, that's all I have to say about that one. Moving on to Sad. Uh, <laughs> honestly, Suicide If She Ever Tries To Let Me Go. First of all, I'm not killing myself over nobody. I am not killing myself over no body okay it's just not happening oh that song honestly <sighs> this is way after this is way after logic this wasn't his intention again but he started it he started a movement of people marketing off of suicide depression being in your feelings being in your birkin being in your bag feel me how how, like, how is this okay? This is not okay. Honestly, this is not okay. Just looking over this. <sighs> there are so many other songs I could have mentioned, but it's just not enough time. Currently, it's it's 11.30. I have to be to work 6.30 in the morning tomorrow. But I have to be up at 4.30. So, we're not even going to go too much into this. This is just going to be the start of the conversation. Let me know if you want to see a part two to this. Give it a thumbs up. Share it to your friends, your friends' friends, all of that good stuff. And let me know in the comments what you want to see more of for the next video. If you enjoyed it, I don't know. Just share. <laughs> just share. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.